So with the recent news of the Wii U shutting down its online stores in March 2023, I've been on sort of like a nostalgia flashback. I've been watching a lot of videos. Uh, there's one by The Completionist where he bought every single game. And then there's one where this guy took a Wii U which uh, got fried in a lightning storm. He sent it into a Nintendo and it's a whole like really wholesome story. Uh, I'll leave both videos and the links in the description. But there's always been one thing that's irked me about my Wii U in particular, and that's the fact that it has data going back before the console even released. So in the UK at least, or in like European regions, the Wii U came out on November 30th, 2012. I got my console on that Christmas day, which is December 25th, 2012, and I've got a really old picture of me <laughs> uh, opening that up on Christmas. Um, so you know, okay, so you know it's legit. So, there's something that I want all of you to check on your Wii U. It's called the Activity Log, or the Daily Log. Now before we dive into this, let's talk about what this is. We're going to go back to the Wii. The Wii had a feature where if you played any game or on any channel or something like that, you would get a little message in your message board totaling the, basically the playtime for that day. They moved this over to a separate application on the Wii U and this goes into detail on basically how long you've played across like the entire lifespan of the game, how many times you've opened the app and this was also moved over to the 3DS as well so the 3DS has the same activity log. So this is the Wii U, okay. Um, it came out in November 2012 I think, yeah 2012. I've got the Wikipedia article on here. And my Wii U is kind of special. I urge you to do check, okay? This is going to sound crazy, but I'm going to move over to the Wii U gamepad. I'm going to show you something really cool. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Going all the way back. 2016, holy. So I eventually scrolled back to December and I got my console Christmas day. And if I switch to the daily view, you can see, holy shit, uh, Young Shane had a lot of fun on Christmas day. Um, but what's weirder is that it goes back. And in fact, it goes back to the December the 2nd. Are you probably thinking, oh, that's, that's weird. Like, um, Huh, that's kind of crazy. Now this is a, a European Wii U, right? The w European Wii U come out on November the 30th. So explain why if I keep going back, I still have logs from the 24th of November. Now something suspicious is happening. And as I would get more games, this activity log would fill out. So like, I'm pretty sure none of this was here. Like. New Super Mario Bros. U wasn't here. Um, Little Inferno wasn't here. But then when I would download and play these games, these would show up in the logs for the first time. And I'm like, huh? What? No, like, this is crazy. Like, And it makes me think what other games... That means, by the way, Nintendo TV is on there. I have no idea how I spent 51 minutes. I guess I was eager to watch TV, but... It never came out in the UK. But, like, I, it just baffles me how there are logs before the Wii U even came out in the UK. And this is a European model, by the way. Like, I can show you that there's no Nintendo TV, and I don't, I think they got removed anyway. But if I close and if I go to my system settings, it will show you that in the top right corner, it's not the latest version. We're on 5.5.4e. Now, there probably is an update. I'm not gonna update it now, but what's going on? Uh, data management doesn't even tell the full story either. Yeah, like, huh. Yeah, it, it doesn't say, say like my last. My save date is from 2013, 
which actually might be when I got it, because I didn't get the game on launch. I actually didn't get New Super Mario Bros. U on launch. And yeah, it's, it's just weird. Like, Nintendo Land, okay. The, oh, okay, well, there isn't a save date there, but I remember getting this on launch. In fact, all, all the black we use got this on launch. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. On screen now is a TV mode view of the daily log, just to show you as well. Now, the eagle-eyed among you may have noticed that some entries actually said played in Wii mode. And this is where it gets a little bit weird, because when I go into Wii mode, some of the entries are quite bizarre. Going into one of these days shows Wii System Transfer, Wii Shop Channel, and Smash Brothers Brawl for a total playtime of three minutes. Like, my theory is that I don't, maybe this was used as like a test unit and it just, I don't know. I have no idea. Like, what doesn't make sense is that all these play sessions are so short. There is no way a Wii System Transfer would have taken one minute. So if you don't actually know, it's actually split into two parts. So you have the Wii side, which I'm on, this takes place on a Wii, not the Wii U. So that log wouldn't even be on the Wii U in the first place. As you can see, transferring it from the Wii is pretty quick. It's when you get it to the Wii U, that's what takes the majority of the time. And you can see it in this little transfer thing here. Um, it will switch over to the Wii U in just a second. This is not my system transfer, this is someone else's on YouTube. Uh, obviously, I'll leave the link in the description. But you can see that Wii U takes significantly longer. This is actually sped up five times compared to the two times uh, as before. But yeah, this is what would have been displayed on the Wii transfer. Uh, and I don't know, like sure I guess like someone could have just went on it then went off of it but like it doesn't make any sense like this doesn't make any sense it, it's just a lot to comprehend and if anyone knows anything please reach out because I kind of want to get to the bottom of this uh, it's kind of crazy a few facts my Wii mode is homebrewed the Wii U is not homebrewed I know you can homebrew a Wii U I just haven't done that. Um, version 5.5.4 was a European exclusive update to comply with GPDR or something like that. Something to do with data protection. So, and to my knowledge, there's no way the virtual Wii can interact with the Wii U, so you can't modify logs. I have no idea what is going on, and I would love if anyone who knows about Wii or Wii U uh, sort of stuff will be able to chime in but I'm just at a loss and the fact that there are no other Wii entries as well um, yeah I don't know I'm just completely stumped now Nintendo did a thing where they basically compiled your entire activity log and basically made it into a picture here's mine on screen right now uh, they also did it for the 3DS as well so I'll quickly flash up that one but looking at this data and comparing it to the activity log it's just highly inaccurate and i honestly don't know so that's my little deep dive on my weird wii u log history again please share your own logs uh because this is actually really interesting thank you for watching this really long winded video um i promise there's more coming I know that I haven't been the most consistent, especially when I said that I was going to stream every Wednesday and Sunday. That's coming back. There's just a lot that's been going on in my life recently. Uh, stuff that I'm not comfortable sharing over the internet. I don't know why I'm holding a card, by the way. But uh, yeah, please share your logs. Uh, DM me on Twitter. Tweet at me. Pop like a link in the comments. If you'll probably get the blog. Um, I guess Twitter would be the best place, maybe. Uh, or just share like a, a text comment on like, hey, I have so and so for this date and date, uh, and then yeah, we'll, we'll try and collate like a por portfolio of people's logs, and um, possibly we can get to the bottom of this. But for now, thank you for watching. I know it's been a while. Uh, stay tuned for the next upload in a month or so, <laughs> probably. I'll try and do uploads every uh, every other week but they'll probably be monthly. But yeah, au revoir.
goodbye and yeah share your loves with everyone in the comments below.